There are two types of thalassemia, alpha and beta. In this segment, I am going to elaborate on beta thalassemia as this is part of a NCLEX review. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. Thalassemia is a hereditary disorder that overproduces hemoglobin chains that clump together with red blood cells that results in hemolysis, which in other words is destruction of red blood cells. So typically there is a family history of thalassemia. So when it runs in the family, the patient should definitely be checked out to see if they have the gene to better help manage their lifestyle. So as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of thalassemia, which is alpha and beta thalassemia. Alpha thalassemia is minimal and usually goes unnoticed. Unless genetic testing was done, typically this is found in patients from Mediterranean descent or Asians. With the alpha type, it is so minimal, no therapy is needed. It's like, okay, you got it because you probably did genetic counseling, but you're usually just fine. As opposed to beta thalassemia, it is autosomal recessive disorder. This means both parents are carriers. That is commonly seen in Mediterraneans. Beta thalassemia major is a cause of microcytic hypochromic anemia. And the goal is to maintain normal hemoglobin levels, which is why they're always getting blood transfusions. Be sure to check out my video on how to identify anemia to better understand how microcytic hypochromic anemia is derived. Link down below. So because thalassemia and iron deficiency anemia are both microcytic hypochromic anemias, I want to show you the comparison chart. Take a look at this. So what I want to highlight from this is thalassemia and iron deficiency, they usually have both low hematocrit and hemoglobin. Their MCV and their MCH are both on the low spectrum. In addition to that, your normal, the TIBCs, the thalassemia is normal, the iron deficiency is usually high. So my question to you is, how is iron deficiency anemia and thalassemia the same? Is it A, is it a genetic disorder? Is it B, the TIBC and RDW are within normal? Or is it C, both are common in patients with microcytic hypochromic anemia? The answer is C, both are common in patients with microcytic hypochromic anemias. Here is a clinical presentation of your patient with beta thalassemia major. They would have microcytic hypochromic anemia. They could typically have hepatosplenomegaly, sometimes frontal bossing, which is like a dominant forehead, and a maxillary prominence with fatigue, poor growth, and sometimes palpitations. So some nursing interventions would include blood products. So blood transfusions is so common for this type of patient. And sometimes they may need a bone marrow transplant as a alternative option. You definitely want to have your patient avoid iron. And chelation therapy is usually used to treat iron overload for multiple blood transfusions. And last, some take home messages would be to encourage the patient to be up to date on their vaccines and annual recommendations such as flu vaccines and also encourage genetic counseling as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications. Take care.